Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate. And we are here with our team. I've actually prepped a lower level team. Our level threes, the red is is getting is not really getting enough love. Uh, I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> so I really want to take her out. But every time, this is the main reason I hardly ever take red out. Every time I'm like, oh, maybe we should take Red out. There's never any appropriate level missions that aren't in the ruins. And she's terrible in the ruins because she's main attack is to do with bleed. But I thought, what the heck? Let's just take her anyways. Um, and we're going to be going, oh, by the way, Doctor's Bag there. That's amazing. We're going to be going with her. Victoria is going to be coming along. She's going to be taking the otherworldly bell to make sure everyone's got enough healing, along with their bent blade for that repulse damage there. Uh, we're going to be using that quite a lot. Then we're actually bringing Benjamin as well, as I think he does want to get to know Victoria, and Victoria likewise with Benjamin, even if they may not be the best of friends. I feel like I feel like these guys are uh, they have a lot to talk about. So he's coming along. He's going to provide a little bit of extra healing, uh, along with just some nice damage. And you might have been looking at my trinkets and thinking they're a bit odd. So here with Victoria, we're going with these ones. Red's taking the full on just virtue, that fifty percent virtue chance. Um, but then everyone else has swappable trinkets, so that if we need to. If we need to get someone to Virtue and they look like their, their stress is getting high, we can swap people out. So this guy's just got a bunch of prot and a little bit of stress reduction. Um, and then the claimants here have insane healing. Plus 50%, plus 35%, but 85% healing. And that means that we can use this skill here to heal for around... I think that'll be around like 28% maximum HP, something like that. Uh, it's, it should be a pretty sizable heal, um, and it should suffice along with the healing of uh, of this guy here, even though his healing is a lot, lot less. We're mainly going to be using Benjamin for his buff here. Uh, either way, let's bring these guys out into the, um, into the ruins here. I do want to check as well. Uh, no, we don't have any extra beasts with us here. And also... Let's just go up to the top real quick and make sure that everyone is geared up. Uh, Red doesn't like she's geared up. Let's let's get Red geared up first. Um, there you go. Red, what do we actually want on you? The Kiss of Death is nice. The Bleed Resist. The minus 30 stress for buff party is, is very, very nice. Um, we can get the uh, extra turn. The Inspire extra turn is kind of nice. Um, and... Mark target, clear stun, force guard by ally, debuff target, buff target with... Okay, that's pretty good too. Um, I'm trying to just see if there's anything else that we'd want. Flashing the goods isn't really something. On the prowl, but then again, that is buff, that is move forward. Yeah, we'll just keep with what she's got right now. I'm pretty happy with that. And then the last one was her shield. Okay, and then just make sure she's got the right armor level on. I don't think Red's going to end up doing too much here, but she needs some experience. She's She's been chilling in the brothel for a really long time, not really getting any action, but, well, <laughs> getting some action, but not 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 quite the action that we're looking for. So let's uh, jump out into the ruins here. And <laughs> I don't even mean to do that. And we will jump ahead. We don't have too many dire entries today. I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more coming in the next few weeks, but uh, for this week, we've not got too many, so we'll get into those a little later on. But we're just going to... Um, Mash out on pretty much everything here. Go with five on all of these. I'll go with six of them as well. Uh, and there you go. And let's uh, let's jump on in. I will take three blood as well, just because Benjamin is in need of it every now and again. Uh, we might need to top him up a little bit. So I want to bring just a little bit. Three should do us, I think. It's, uh, it's a little hard to say. Three should do us, though. Um, and we'll we'll pop into the ruins here and see what we can find. Hopefully, we can uh, we can find victory and find a few level ups for these guys because they're all sitting at level three at the moment. Um, apart from obviously the claimants, uh, Smith and Elise, the, them them two are them two are okay. But I thought they'd be very very nice healers to bring in the situation that we're currently in. I think these two will do a fine job of helping out the uh, the less experienced folk. And to be honest, Victoria is is kind of a veteran she went out into the crimson court and did some did some insanely good work but unfortunately you don't get xp for going into the crimson court which is a real shame because uh she did she she put up a fight 
She showed a valiant effort, and it is it is slightly upsetting to see that that goes unrewarded, um, or at least unrewarded in XP terms. But let's let's go ahead here, set up that repose right away, because we've got that bonus to, to repose damage. We really want to be setting that up. Um, bypass guard and stealth is really nice here. Let's just go with a buff. That's a full team buff. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Um, and we could go with a with another inspire turn here, um, but I I don't know with the minus with the minus healing received and stress healing, not great. Um, what sort of health are you on? You're on great health, so let's force guard by you, especially considering you have that, and then you're gonna get that. Pretty big damn, uh, the pretty big buff to um, crit chance now, which is really really nice. And then because we don't have to do anything here, we can just activate the repurse, I think, and then set up that. Nice one, Smith and Elise. These, these two are these two are uh, a really good match. Okay, nice. Okay, we did take on some horror there, and that's why we got that repurse going. He does have a lot of prot, so that was kind of to be expected. Um, I think we just keep going with this buff. Honestly, this buff is really good. Lots of crit. Finally kill that. So there's going to be some enemies that we can take out pretty easily with red. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, a lot of the enemies here aren't going to really go the same way. That was great. And we actually got some healing there. 30... Uh, do you know, I always forget that if Victoria gets a crit, she heals herself. So this is actually a very, very good synergy with Benjamin, because he's going to be buffing that crit. Actually, even red, because she's going to be buffing the crit as well by 7%. And then with each use usage of um, of Benjamin's of Benjamin's buff, we're going to be getting another 5%. So that's actually a very, very solid um, usage there. Um, we can use that to pull. I don't think we need to do that. Let's do this again. Kind of a hearty uh, enemy here, but I don't think we should have too much of a too much of a problem. Going for the rend. I can't believe she even gets the healing on a repursed crit. Not not just on normal crits, but you can see here that this setup that we have for Victoria right now is is really really strong. This this is this is very very good. This is something that I didn't actually account for, but I'm I'm very happy it's worked out the way it has. Um, do a bit of damage. There you go. Actually got the kill. Very good. It looks like the claimants also get um, healing on crit as well. That's another thing. I'm, I'm starting to remember now. That's, that is another thing that we found out. So we have two teammates here that benefit greatly from high crit chance. And we have a party that really lends itself towards creating high crit chance. Even the claimants here, we can we can use the guard from red on the claimants. And we don't actually even need to, to really fret or worry at all about that small issue that I, that I mentioned about um red not being able to do too much because even just her letting the other teammates guard her which to be honest is in her nature her selfish nature uh she's actually going to be doing a great job here and one thing that's even nicer is if we do take on the curse here benjamin's going to be helping more by giving extra accuracy and healing along the way so let's set this up first and also big stress heals probably didn't need to bring the virtue trinkets i'm just as we get into these later ones, I'm trying to get into the habit. What the hell did you do that for, Benjamin? What the hell did you do that for? Well, sometimes attack allies. You little dickhead. God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, Let's just heal ourselves up here. Yeah, that's a pretty big heal. That's a pretty big heal. And I think we're in a very good position right now. Manning wines coming out. We probably will end up taking on a curse this time around. It's been it's been quite a long time, so I'd expect it coming in soon. But we're getting lucky at least so far. Uh, these repurs are going to be huge. The Victoria is our powerhouse, and that is exactly why I put the otherworldly bell on her. Unfortunately, claimants here have taken a stun. That's not great. And there you go. There you go. Um, one thing to uh, one thing to note is unfortunately, this does get a minus 20% um, chance, uh, sorry, damage modifier if she has the Crimson Curse, and of course she does. So that's 
that's unfortunate. When when we're no longer getting the damage buff from this, we're only getting the accuracy buff. Definitely a shame. Definitely a shame. Uh, but hey, her. I kind of expected someone to get it. One good thing is the hey, her. Hey, her. 18% damage if has Crimson Curse. So, that damage that we just lost. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, damage. You have returned to us. And there it is. Wow. What a wonderfully strange little synergy that we've created here. This was completely accidental, but has worked out so, so well. Uh, the claimants are probably going to want to heal themselves before they heal Victoria. Victoria has so much sustain that I don't really want to be using it to heal her. Uh, Benjamin, you're just going to be laying on that buff because that's going to be 36% damage. Nice one, Red. Very, very nice. Shame he didn't get the kill, but that's okay. A 16 heal there. That's pretty big. And then let's see if we can get a crit here. Unfortunately, no crit. We still get the heal, though. Still do get the heal. And we've got These the humors. Can be felt. Causes can the hero to be crave felt. blood immensely. I'm guessing that's a, a drop that we only get while using Benjamin. At least I would assume. Uh, we'll get rid of that as well. We'll keep that on us for now. Obviously right now, no trinket swapping required at all. Uh, let's use a key here. Nice. Little bit of extra there. We'll keep trudging on forward. But we have some some very, very interesting back and forth between this group, I will say. Very interesting back and forth indeed. And I feel these guys could um, could benefit each other greatly. I'd rather have the money right now. I know I just got rid of a gem, but it was for 18 crests rather than three of them. Okay, so we do have a stealth here. We can bypass stealth, so this is nice. So let's do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't de-stealth, it only bypasses. We're always going to set up that, because that's going to keep our our damage dealer de-stressed. And also, it's going to trigger that repurst more often, which we really like to see. Also, it's going to keep Red nice and safe, and Red does have relatively low maximum HP, if I remember correctly, so I think that's good. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Give them no quarter. One thing we do have to worry about with Virtue swapping is we do need inventory space to do it. Um, the ground, nice. Wait. Yeah, we do need to have inventory space in order to Trinket swap. So that is a little bit of a shame on that front. Um, let's just try and de-stress here while we can. Set up that prot as well. Okay, a lot of stress coming in on the claimants here. Don't worry, guys. We should be okay here. Go for that buff again. Really want to be getting that buff out whenever. And there you go. Red can finish off that kill for us. Unfortunately, this does leave these two in the back where we can't get them. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, let's just set up the repurse again. Make sure I've got that block. I think that's the better option there. Go for the heal there. And that cures off our bleed as well very nicely. Of course, we did take that trinket that lowers our bleed and blight cure chances, but we're doing okay. I think we are going to want a trinket swap with um, with Smith and Elise here. You knocked off my uh, my block, Benjamin. You might not you might not like her the best, but at least come on. Like, try. Let's pull you forward. Bit of an annoying position. Nice. Nice repurst there. A nice kill. Yeah, you're at 61 stress. So what trinkets do you have on you? Okay. Unfortunately, the, the, the problem with trinket swapping is we are going to lose our healing ability to some, to some degree off of the claimants. So we don't we don't want to do that if we don't have to. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Can't even pull you either. Um... Bit of a shame, this, that we can't get her. Let's just try and take out our body. Drag her forward a bit. Victoria's going to get a turn here, and it's not really going to be of any use. Oh, no. Red got another turn. Okay. Okay, we're definitely going to trinket swap for claimants in a moment. 
uh, after this battle, I think. There you go. Nice one, Benjamin. Finish that off for us. If only treasure could staunch right, um, other so fortune. we are going to need to make some inventory space. I'm going to get rid of the humors for now because I, I just don't think we need them. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the medical herbs as well. That'll leave us the inventory space we need to trinket swap. Because uh, the thing is, we do, claimants are holding one class trinket, so we are going to have to take that off. Um, so let's try this out. Let's go... How do we... Oh, uh, we can take them off from here. Yeah, of course. So we take those off there. We go to red here. Wait. How do we do this? No. I've done this wrong. So give you that back. Give you that. Then give you that. Then come here, give you that. Then come here and give you that. And then... I guess you can have that, for some reason. Okay. I I think I did that right. <laughs> it's not the ideal situation, really, but these guys are gonna, uh, they are gonna stress out pretty soon. And in fact, if we find a curio that allows us to purposely stress these guys, then I will do that. Just heal you up a little bit there. These guys are curious as shit. We actually don't want that. We need to keep that inventory space open. Um, what have you got that's making you so curious? Artistic. Artistic's probably the worst one that I've found thus far. It's it's always... Um, it always makes them do really dumb stuff and gives them, like, negative quirks and things. Okay, so let's hope that we get the stress we want here and hope we don't take too much damage. That's kind of... That's kind of the prayer here. We, we want the stress, we don't want the damage, because we don't have the healing that we normally have. I, I took on quite a risk doing this, but there you go. The one time I don't want you to dodge. She still takes the horror. Why go for her? God damn it. She's still healing for nine. That's decent. Okay, do that stress heal there. Has that got a cooldown? I might be able to use that multiple times. That's huge. Getting that getting that crit on that guy is absolutely huge. We're critting with our opposed a lot here. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, ah, that hurt us quite a bit. Did activate our repost though, so that's okay. Why are you going for the woman with repose? I, I mean, I, I guess it's because she's marked. I guess it's because she's marked. Um. Damn, this fight didn't quite go the way we wanted, which is con weird considering we've killed everything with relatively zero issues. It's strange to say that that's a bad outcome. Well, the worldly bells helping us out a ton here as well. They're actually getting stress healed. Maybe I don't want to set up repose next time we do this. Just to make it a little easier for us to gain that stress. It's annoying that they dodged that first turn. Wow, 12 crit, great. On a Bernie as well. On a skeletal boy. Okay, just keep buffing that up. We don't have the repose up anymore, but that's okay. We do have repose here. Another bit of good damage there. Been pleasantly surprised with that. Do apologize about that. Okay, nice one. Wow, that's a lot of healing there. That's a lot of healing. Um, open that up. I will remind myself that. Don't worry. Um, keep moving forward. I think, considering that that went pretty well, we keep on what we've currently got on, um, and just hope we don't come into too many bad battles. I know this isn't the original setup we intended at all, but considering these guys are at 70 stress, one more battle could easily push them over the edge, and we really want them to virtue. Okay, we didn't set up that that time because I think it was better to set up our repost here. And in fact, let's go get let's go with the triple repost. 
Now we've got repair set up on pretty much everyone. And that's exactly why. Well struck. Look at that. That guy just took a metric shit ton of damage for that. We did take a lot of bleed there, but that's, again, okay. That's all right. Nice, he's gone. Everyone heals up. Benjamin with the buffs. Benjamin's mainly here to buff and and her uh, things that are stealthed, but still, even that's very useful for us. Try and get rid of that bleed. Nice one, we did. Nice repost there. Stop with the stress healing. We need the stress. Victoria is our healer right now. This expedition Victoria is our healer. Success. Keep pushing forward. I'm really hoping we find a curio that lets us gain stress. And these guys don't, don't just immediately touch it so we can actually gain stress. And give them... Gain, uh, yeah, gain stress on them. Okay, made it this far. We might not even need this. I'm just sort of testing it out and seeing how how much virtue we'll get. So this guy, this guy's craving now, so we're going to give him some blood. He's in bloodlust. Bit of stashed money. Good, good. This guy's in bloodlust now. While he's in bloodlust, he's going to gain extra damage and speed. He is going to lose um, some bleed resist, though. But honestly, while he's in this, he's actually, it's actually pretty good for him. It's going to help him out a nice amount. Right. Where are these last few curious we need? I don't think we'll end up needing to camp this time around. Okay, here we go. So let's let's get you to touch that. Good, good, good. That that did not give very much stress though. I was really expecting that to be a lot more than it was. Okay, this is a pretty tough bit of combat here. Uh we gotta be careful. I think we how much damage is this going to do? Not much, honestly. Not much. Let's not do that then. Let's just go for the buff because we want those crits. Get that crit chance up for that plus 11%. And do that. Good, good. Sets up the block. And there you go. Stealth guy. You're pretty much dead. <clears throat> I love that. I love this combo. It's so good. Heal you up again. It's only a small amount, but there you go. This guy, I don't think gives stress. I can't remember. I'm not going to take a chance anyways. There you go. You did something for us, and it works out quite well. Works out quite well indeed. Quickly de-stress you. Nice one, Clements. And we'll go like that. Nice. Finish off that thing. And this guy, we're going to have a bit of a hard time with you. We'll just set up the repost again. You're going to have to aim for someone. Right as the block went down, but you've got a repost anyway, so that's no no bother. Success so clearly in view. Indeed. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's not a trick of the light. We did beat those things. We beat them down easily. God damn. Stop touching things that I'm not let that I don't want you to touch. It's very, very annoying. Okay, we do have to go down this way. Okay. You're at 78 stress. I mean they touched it anyways. And they actually got a positive out of that. They got underdog. It's the first time I've seen books actually do something good. And more of these guys. Let's hope we don't take in any more curses. Again, let's just set up the crits. We want those crit reposts coming in. The first on this guy, really not going to do you too much good. He is one with the curse. But here's the stress we're looking for. 84. We can't keep these guys alive too long though, unfortunately, because it is not, it's just not going to help. Pull you forward. Unfortunately, we didn't get, didn't get that there. Um, set up that. And Red, let's get you going as well. Give Victoria a kiss. Not the person we want to be pulled forward. Not Honestly, that's not terrible, though. 
Like, that doesn't actually bother us that much. As long as Victoria's in the first two positions, we can still make this work. Just means that you might get targeted a little more than Victoria now, is all. Nice. Nice. Didn't even take the stress there. First coming in, that's a crit as well. That's the stress we need, though. Here's the exit, that's annoying. But there's that horror. That that that's that's gonna that should mean we get what we want. Oh, nice crit. Nice crit. A little bit more stress coming in than we want here, but this is okay. Remove your stress a little bit here. Um we don't need to do any curing on anyone. It's okay. Nice kill. Heals everyone up a little bit. Gather the blood. I'm scared someone else is going to get the cares here. Don't worry, Victoria's already got it there. Ooh, a crit heal. Look at you. Look at you, but you're bleeding now. Pretty, pretty good bleed as well. Pretty good bleed. Nice. That's good. That's good damage. That that's that's very good damage. With that bonus from um, him being bloodlust. Very nice to see. There you go. A momentary abatement. Ooh, we got a Jude Tapestry here. Um, I'm going to give away that. So take the Jude Tapestry. Resistance. Give away that. Take that. We can throw that away as well because we're going to need that space in a moment. Okay. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Unless... Unless I'm crazy, we are the most unlucky people ever. Right, let me go and find something out. One second. One second. Okay. I am just the most unlucky person ever. Because the claimants, they don't have... Like, it's not like they have guaranteed... Um, guaranteed affliction they can virtue they even have a camping skill that affects virtue chance how plus 50 percent oh my god i i'm i'm pretty sure plus 50 percent means 90 percent i think base chance to virtue is 40 percent i think so that should be 90 percent and we still fail we still fail how how it, God damn it. My luck in this game is just atrocious. It's just atrocious. My God. My God. Oh, my God. Right. We carry on then, I suppose. But that's a... Uh a little unfortunate and kind of ruined my plans a little bit. It's put us in a bit of a tough spot, in fact. <sighs> I can't with this game. I just can't. How how are you going to do me so dirty like that? How are you going to do me so dirty like that? Good. More of these guys. Never ceases to amaze me, this. Never ceases to amaze. I thought, yep, let's let's get an easy virtue here. Easy virtue. No, no, no. Not for the turtle melon. Never for the turtle melon. Virtues? Are you mad? What disease do you try and give me there, Red? <laughs> you kissed me and tried to give me a disease. Hmm. I'm not sure about you there. Hmm. <laughs> I better not wake up in the morning with a rash. I know what you get up to. Nice crit. I will I will say, Clements, you may be hopeless. But that was that was pretty stellar of you. That was pretty stellar of you. Unfortunately, it's not on red there, but that, that shouldn't matter all too much for us. Getting all the reposts we need. We do need a big heal coming in here, though. Nice. K. 
care. But yeah, we are getting hit quite a bit here. Like I said, that's okay, though. Good, good. Thirst coming in once more. Nice repost once again. You're quick to fire, aren't you, there? Elise, you're quick to fire. Let's go for the guaranteed kill, because we get the guaranteed healing there. Could have got a crit as well, so it was worth it. Unfortunately, passing the turn, which is anno it's annoying as a healer, especially when we get hit for 17. Oh, my God. You better not skip turn again. We need you. In fact... Let's heal all you up. You need a crit real bad. Oh, these two aren't looking too hot anymore. Gently. This is how a life is taken. I see some of that food. Okay, we've only got one more room to go to by the looks of things. Craving. Let's give you that. Lost a little bit of maximum HP. Wow, you are really not in a good spot. Let's camp when we get over to this last room over here, I think. My god. I, I just... I just... I can't fathom. I can't fathom our luck. It's... We've had one virtue the entire series. We're on week 104. Which, coincidentally, is two years into the game, which is pretty awesome. Two years into the campaign. But we're on week 104 with one virtue. One. One. How is that pause? How is that plausible? God damn. And vulnerable. Right, let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. Um, plus 10 crit. That's very, very nice. Um, remove disease, produce the blood. Wow. So, Red can, um, Red can get down with someone for the night and reduce their stress by quite, quite some, quite some large amount. Um... Doesn't look like we have a night to prevent nights of ambush, so you go and sleep with the claimants. They are not interested at all. They are not interested at all. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Heck it, let's just go for that and then try and de-stress you a little bit. She tried to come over for the night and help you out. You wanted nothing. And, and of course, in the most ambushed by these. Place. Switching us all around is annoying, but not the worst. In comes the stress once more. That's a lot of stress too. Wow, that's a lot of stress. Okay, these, these are enemies we're going to want to kill very quickly because we are going to take a lot of stress and they all have very high speed. Very high speed indeed. Ow. Leave the claimants alone. Of course you don't want the buff. You two are really making problems for everyone. Oh, you're just terrible at the minute, guys. You're going to sort your act out. Also, how is the speed so high? It's so annoying. Just let us have a turn, please. Okay, good. Killing that means we shouldn't take the stress on very nicely. Nice. Oh, big heals. Big heals. Go for the damage there. Try and get a kill as early as possible. Yeah, okay. Heal ourselves up. Get rid of that bleed as well. Deafening line coming in. Again, we don't take the stress if we kill it. So I'm very happy about that. Also, this thing's bleeding, so tons of damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Victory. Lovely. But a victory, nonetheless. 
we move forward. Okay, no other battle after this. This is the last one. And I didn't switch my people around. That's okay. That's okay. They're fine the way they are. We got the surprise. We should be good. Just set up the way we normally do. We'll be we'll be we'll be good. Set up the way we normally do. Good, good. What, what happens if I guard you? <laughs> guarded, guarded, guarded. They're all guarded. That's nice, okay, we'll just do that. Nice shot. That's gonna hurt. Oh, no, not too badly. Not too badly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Beautiful, guys. You're pulling yourself back. You're really showing what you're made of. Get that buff going again. Nice crit, Red. Doesn't matter if you don't land the bleed, you get that repost going. We're all happy. Another nice repost. Set that up again. Hit you. Only a small amount of damage, but we'll take it. You're, you're, I'm going to say, you're basically dead there. And that's going to hurt. <laughs> Sir, that's going to hurt. Both of these guys crit. Wonderful. And there you go. That ends it off. Wow, a pretty, uh, pretty strange one there. Just quickly look in here. There you go. Wow, that uh, that was that was a little difficult towards the end there, but we we made it through. We're okay. Two years of this. There you go. Just got the achievement. Two years in, and we have everyone it was a level four and five apart from unfortunately red red didn't quite make it there sadly enough but got them to use level four which is great to see plot quest shriekling den the caretaker has returned from the old road all covered in bile reporting shrieklings have found new nesting the hamlet residents confirm okay it hasn't stolen my trinkets though that's good right first of all let's unequip our trinkets get you guys in the uh into prayer and let's have a little look see what we've got going on here uh we've got the we, we we just recently got one of them so don't need to worry about that uh extra range damage extra range crit yeah i'm gonna take that that's pretty good mana arms interesting dark wraith minus 50 percent hp suffered from skills yeah that's not too good nothing else there super interests me Let's see who we've got to bring on. We have a Philomath. If we want to bring on a level 3 Philomath. And we have a Seer level... Oh, I really want to... We have a lot of classes here that are really good. We have a Seer, we have a Chaplain, and we have a Philomath. But I do not want to bring on level 1s. It will take too long to level them up and be too difficult and out of the way. And I fear that we'll bring them on, give them a story, and they'll die. So I am going to hold off on them. Uh, but we'll bring on the Philomath level 3. We'll bring on this level 3. I don't want to bring on too many level 3s, but we'll bring him on. Uh, but there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, we have the one die range to go through as well. I did actually forget about that, but let's uh, let's get into that now. It's just a short one here from, uh, from Dismiss. And this is a really good end to the episode. Two years. Over two whole years. So much yet so little has changed. I sense this journey will reach an end soon. Very fitting for the end of this episode. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.